week I went to Israel and Palestine with Yahad. And I'll start with a story. On the first day, we went down to the southern border with Gaza. We went to a place called Nativ Hazara, a place I'd visited before, where we met with an incredible woman called Ronnie who had lost family members, 16 in fact, from that kibbutzim had perished. And as you go there, you can look across at Gaza, you can look across at northern Gaza, and I saw the plumes of smoke, I heard the drones, the pop, pop, pop of the gunfire, and I broke down. And as I walked back through the village, Ronnie, a peace activist, Israeli, took me to one side, gave me a hug, said, I'm so sorry, which I said back. And we both cried and held each other. Last week, with many other members, with Yahad, we visited Kibbutzim, attacked on October the 7th. We visited Jerusalem and the West Bank. I met with Rachel Goldberg, the mother of Hirsch, a 23-year-old who is very similar to my 21-year-old. He loves travelling, he loves music festivals. He waved his mum goodbye and went off to a music festival on October the 6th. At 8.20 in the morning on October the 7th, he sent his mum two text messages. I love you. I'm sorry. She hasn't heard from him since. Rachel's an extraordinary woman, his mother, and she summarised the war this way. It's not a competition of pain and tears. It's just a bunch of pain and tears. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. On Sunday, I returned from four days in Israel and Palestine on a cross-party delegation with Yakad. We met with hostage families, displaced Palestinians, NGOs working in Gaza, peace activists on both sides of the conflict, Israeli and Palestinian official spokespeople. It was a distressing, moving and humbling experience. In the very short time that I have at the end of this debate, I want to bring to this House the words of one extraordinary young man we met with. He is called Yotam Kipnis. We met Yotam in the Bieri Kibbutz, which he returned to with us for the first time since the 7th of October to visit the home from which his parents were abducted and subsequently murdered by Hamas for the first time. As we stood outside the rubble of Yotam's home, he said this to us. He said, vengeance is a valid feeling. It is not a valid policy. Speaker, I too was on the cross-party uh, emotional visit with Yakad to Israel and Palestine uh, last week. Uh, where we stood at the site of mass murder in Kibbutz Beri and in Nativ Hazara and heard with horror the accounts of the victims and bereaved uh, relatives of what happened there, but also stood on a bluff above Gaza City and saw the artillery landing and heard the gunfire and the drones overhead and contemplated the futility of 30,000 dead um, and with horror thought of the assault upon Rafa and its 600,000 children. We could met some remarkable people. Rachel Goldberg, whose son Hirsch is still being held by Hamas, Mao Zinon and Yonatan Zaygin, whose parents were both killed by Hamas, a group of young Palestinians who yearn uh, for freedom, all of them dedicating their lives to peace. They were the threads of hope uh, that we met on our visit. And they offered the prospect that these two remarkable peoples could find a way to live side by side.